Welcome everybody to our first of hopefully many community art showcases. I have been meaning to do something like this for years and I am beyond ecstatic to be sitting here today to finally be putting something out there. And with the help of you and over a hundred submissions for this thing, ho, oh, we're in for a good one today, folks. And for the most part, I'm just going to be shutting up and showing these amazing pieces for two reasons. One, this video is not about me in the slightest. And two, I need a haircut. So I best just shut up and show the actual good stuff. But before we get to it, I just want to say, man, even outside of this video for now, just what has happened and transpired in the last two weeks since I floated the idea, hey, submit me your art. Just awesome, just absolutely awesome. New people coming in the Discord. Artists galore, just taking over pretty much. But it's not that. It's the fact that these are new avenues for people to reach out, to show their immense talent, to make new friends, to build off of each other. That is so great because let's face it, some of you artists out there, little gun shy here and there, and I don't blame you. But to be able to open up like this has been incredible for not just you, hopefully, but for other people who feel the same way, you know, and maybe express themselves in a different way. But without further ado, let's get to the showcases. If you're one for some unique Don't Starve character renditions or heck, maybe even in real life clockworks, which is spooky, then my friend Derp Lord, or they have asked me to say, Blue Moth 698 has the art for you. But not only that, they themselves have an art thread on the Clay forums. So when you get the chance, please go check that out. But thank you very much, Blue Moth. Let's check out your pieces. I figured you guys would want even more Don't Starve characters put to page immediately, but we are starting to dip into some different territory here, like wanting to go fast. So Don't Starve and Sonic, my friend Green Gale has also got you covered there. Plus, Green Gale has a DeviantArt and Instagram, both with the same name as you can see. So as we're showcasing their art, or maybe afterwards, give them a follow, a view, and just simply appreciate their work along the way. And we'll just do that right now too.
And it just keeps going. Pyro Godlike is next, and they continue the Don't Starve theme. However, something tells me their favorite character may be our Spooter Boy, Weber, and they have a Tumblr page. So, again, when you get the chance, go give them a look. But for now, let's view the art. Ah, but Juke here finally brings us on to a detour with some fun, original character designs, some colorful, albeit pretty darn terrifying rocks of some description, some beautiful, simple commentary, and even some horrors along the way. I was not provided any links to anything, however, Juke is in our Discord, so please give them a shout while you can, but let's take a look. Okay, Reb, I don't even know what to say. These next dozen or so pieces are just magnificent, gorgeous, colorful, and just all around a beautiful collection to show your immense talent because, let's face it, that's what you have. And I'm so happy to have been able to even see the progression of some of these pieces as you've been in the Discord. It's been incredible. Just wonderful work, friend. Absolutely astounding. So please, 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 everyone, go check out K Reb's channel where they release speed paint videos on these very pieces you're about to see, as well as just visiting them on Instagram, Facebook, and yes, even the Discord. But let's get into it. From one amazing artist to another, 
peace and love for all is next. And if you wanted more Don't Starve renditions, look no further. From reimagining our characters as K-pop stars, maybe even some ballerinas, to all of our Survivor friends being in the circus and so much more. And if you do want more, please feel free and definitely go check out all their other stuff across our Discord page or their very own Instagram. Absolutely do it, but let's check out the pieces. don't think that's it. Not even close. We had so many individuals participate in this event, and I am just so happy about that. So happy about that. However, with all them submitting, we have a lot. So for these next two segments, I'm going to step back a little bit. I'm just going to let the art play. I'm going to let it play through, and I'm going to have links and names anywhere I can put them, and of course down in the either the pinned comment or the description below, and I'm just going to Shut up for the remainder of this, and we can just all sit back, relax, and appreciate all the talent. All the talent. It's wonderful. Have a look. And to end today, just a wonderful collection of wonderful fan art from all you wonderful people. I've been sitting on some of these for five years, so it's just time to show them off.
And there you have it, everyone. Our first ever community art showcase. I am so happy, full of joy to be able to do it. And I'm so happy for all the people who have made new connections, who have kind of opened up and started showing things, getting better at their art, wanting to try arts for the first time. It's just everything I could have imagined. And I've just been having so much fun compiling all these things that I kind of want to do it again. It was a lot of work, but I kind of want to do it again. So maybe one day down the line, who knows, keep your ears peeled and your obviously pencils and all that sharpened and ready to go, folks. But my goodness gracious, so much talent, such wonderful human beings out there. And I'm just so happy, so happy. Thank you for participating. Thank you for watching. And I cannot wait to see what else you guys put on the page. Bye-bye.